hearty welcome to the video series on math revision made meticulous the topic which we have taken is integrals and on day 1 we will see on indefinite integral revision as the name suggest means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind So, five questions per day from selected topic is presented in this video series. The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Today, we are going to see integration. Introduction: Integration as a reverse process of differentiation. Integration is the reverse process of differentiation. The process of finding the original function. we have d by dx of x power n plus c when you want to take normally you know that differentiation of c is zero therefore you will get only n into x power n minus 1 similarly differentiation of log x plus c is also 1 by x and differentiation of sin x plus c is also cos x therefore anti derivative of a function is not unique the indefinitely many anti derivative of a function can be obtained by choosing c arbitrarily from the set of real numbers for every formula of uh, integration will have that plus c because anti derivative is not unique now let us define a integration now let capital f of x be a function such that its derivative is f of x then the differentiation of f of x plus c is small f of x now as uh, we are having that c when you go on change the value of c we will have a family of f of x plus c a family of curves satisfying a common property it denotes the family of anti derivatives integral f of x dx denotes the entire class of anti derivatives and read as indefinite integral of f of x with respect to x now we will see what is the meaning of this family suppose when you take uh, f of x is equal to 2x when you integrate it you will get x square plus c now this is the family the for integral f of x is integral 2x dx which is equal to x square plus c you are seeing over here a family of curves which is denotes the anti derivative there are some phrases which are used in integration integral f of x dx integral of f with respect to x f of x is called the integrand x is the variable through which we are integrating integrate means you have to find the integrate and integral of means a function of such that f dash of x is f of x what do you mean by integration it is the process of finding the integral and that c is called a constant of integration which is any real number considered as constant function now we are going for standard formula very quickly we will see the standard formula we are simply getting it from the differentiation formula only d by dx of x is 1 therefore integral dx is equal to x plus c d by dx of x power n plus 1 is n plus 1 into x power n therefore integral x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 differentiation of log x is 1 by x therefore integral of 1 by x is log x differentiation of e power x is e power x therefore integral e power x is e power x <coughs> differentiation of a power x is a power x log a therefore integral a power x is a power x upon log a differentiation of cos x is minus sin x therefore integral of sin x is minus x cos x as you were seeing all the integration formula are derived from differentiation only because integration is a reverse process of differentiation differentiation of sin x is cos x therefore integral cos x is sin x differentiation of tan x is secant square therefore integral of secant square is tan x you are seeing that wherever we are putting that plus c differentiation of secant x is secant x plus secant x tan x therefore integral secant x tan x is secant x plus c differentiation of cosecant x is minus cosecant x cot x therefore integral cosecant x cot x is minus cosecant x plus c differentiation of cot x is minus cosecant square x therefore integral cosecant square x minus cot x plus c now we are going for some uh, formula direct formula from inverse trigonometric functions differentiation of sin inverse x is 1 by root 1 minus x square therefore integral of 1 upon root 1 minus x square is sin inverse x similarly differentiation of cos inverse x is minus 1 upon root 1 minus x square for minus 1 upon root 1 minus x square dx is cos inverse x plus c differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square for differentiation of one integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square is tan inverse x plus c now similarly we can have the formula for cosecant inverse 
we can have a formula for secant inverse we can have a formula for cot inverse we can have it for the same thing for integration differentiation of cosecant inverse is minus 1 upon x into root x square minus 1 therefore 1 upon x into root x square minus 1 dx is minus cosecant inverse x differentiation of secant inverse x is 1 upon x into root x square minus 1 therefore 1 upon root x into x square root of x square minus 1 when you integrate it you will get secant inverse x plus c differentiation of cot inverse x is minus 1 upon 1 plus x square therefore integration of minus 1 upon 1 plus x square is cot inverse x and you remember that 1 upon 1 plus x square dx is tan inverse x also therefore you can use uh, any one of the formulae whenever you come across them now from the formula which we have seen we can have a direct substitution or a direct formula for uh, some uh, certain very quickly we can use the formula like this for example if you have 1 upon 1 plus 1 x square 1 upon x square you can directly have it as minus 1 by x all of you know 1 by x dx is log x where we already told that n is not equal to minus 1 therefore when n is equal to minus 1 then 1 upon x square will be minus 1 minus 1 by x plus c for 1 upon x cube is minus 2 minus 1 upon 2 x square similarly 1 by x power 4 is <coughs> minus 1 upon 3 x cube therefore we can have 1 upon x power n as minus 1 upon n minus 1 into x power n minus 1 plus c for this formula you can directly apply for example you have 1 by x square you can directly write it as min minus 1 upon x similarly 1 upon root x you can write it as 2 root x because x power minus of minus of plus 1 by minus of plus 1 these are certain cases where you can directly apply it okay let us see some properties all of you know that d by dx of integral f of x is f of x and integral f dash of x is f of x plus c and two interference integral with the same derivative lead to the same family of curves and so are equivalent and whenever two functions are added up when you want to find the integration you have to find the integration of the first plus integration of the second function this will be common for when they are subtracted also and if uh, any real number k is there your function is multiplied by k that k will come out of the integration these are the things which you have to remember when you go for doing problems on integration how to evaluate the interference integral the given function is simplified and the properties of interference integral are applied to use the standard formulae and evaluate the interference integral this is the technique of integration simplify the function by making use of any formula or whatever the type whatever may be and bring it to a stage where you can apply the standard formula which we have just seen for example this is a problem integral x square minus 3 the whole square now how to bring it expand it you will get x power 4 minus 6 x square plus 9 and x power 4 can be taken as the first function minus 6 x square the second function 9 is the third function now just by a property we can take the constants outside i have taken the constant outside and i'm applying the formula directly therefore whenever any function is given the technique is simplify it and the properties of different indefinite integral to be used and you apply the standard formulae and then evaluate it for day one we will see some problems now first evaluate x square into 1 minus 1 upon x square now if you know that the technique is simply expand it when i expand it i will get x square into 1 minus x square into 1 upon x square therefore i got x square minus 1 as the function i have to integrate it first function minus integration of the second function i have a formula for x power n i have a formula for integral dx i am showing the formula also to you when you apply the formula for the first one it is x cube by 3 when you apply the formula for the second one it is simply x therefore the answer is x cube upon 3 minus x plus c whenever you see a type of these types of problem where some functions are multiplied try by multiplying them so that you can apply the formula directly fine let us go to the second question the same uh, problem just we have saw earlier but here it is whole square we have to expand the bracket when you expand the bracket root x whole square minus 2 into root x into 1 by root x plus 1 by root x the whole square 
now you are getting 3 integral x dx minus 1 by x dx minus 2 into integral dx let us recollect the formula 3 formulae integral x power n formulae 1 by x formula and integral dx formula we are applying and we are getting the answer where whenever for example it is given whole cube also all of you can do it you have to just expand it using the formula a minus b whole cube or a plus b whole cube accordingly formula number 3 here we are having 1 plus x the whole cube by root x all of you know 1 plus x whole cube we have to expand it we will get uh, terms 4 terms and it should be divided by root x I have expanded the numerator 1 plus 3x plus 3x square plus x cube now I have to multiply it by x power minus half because root x is 1 upon root x is x power minus half expand it x power minus half first term 1 x power 1 minus 1 by 2 second term 2 minus 1 by 2 third term and 3 minus 1 by 2 the fourth term that is x power here we are adding the powers as the bases are equal and uh, it is being simplified now what which formula we have to use integral x power n formula we have to use for the first one it is minus half plus 1 by minus half plus 1 second one half plus 1 by half plus 1 third one 3 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 2 plus 1 fourth one 5 by 2 plus 1 by 5 by 2 plus 1 we are just using the same formula again and again now it can be simplified like this by uh, bringing that uh, constant 3 by 2 as 2 by 3 and 5 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 5 7 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 7 but in the same way you can do this problem it is a very simple problem where we are expanding and bringing to a stage where when I can apply the formula integral x power n dx directly let us go back to formula number 4 this is a problem where we are having a square root we are not having a formula for root x we are having a formula but we are not having a formula for integral of a root of a function but whenever there is a square root comes remember if you want to remove the square root try to make the term inside the square root as a perfect square we have two formulae with us sin square x plus cos square x 1 and sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x I am using that formula now now you are seeing the inside the inter square root sign we are seeing a square plus b square plus 2ab therefore that is a plus b whole square therefore if they have given 1 minus sin 2x also you can do the problem where you will get sin x minus cos x the whole square now it is very simple now square root has gone now you have two formulae integral sin x is minus cos and integral cos x is sin x apply it therefore first term is minus cos x second term integral is sin x plus c therefore remember whenever you are having a square root our priority is that to remove the square let us move on to problem number 5 evaluate integral x square plus cos square x upon 1 plus x square into cosecant square x uh, by expanding it we are going to uh, get a simplified format but before that this cosecant square x 1 upon sin square therefore I am going to use the formula sin square plus cos square x 1 and replace that cos square as 1 minus sin square now when you divide the term into two terms that is by taking x square plus 1 as a single term and then sin square as the term number 2 it is x square plus 1 upon 1 plus x square into cosecant square minus sin square by 1 upon, upon 1 plus x square into cosecant square in the first term x square plus 1 and x square plus 1 will get cancelled in the second term cosecant square and sin square will get cancelled now you are getting a two integral where we can apply the formula directly first one is minus cortex the second one is tan inverse x now when you see the technique where we are reducing or simplifying the given integrand so that you can apply the formula directly thank you friends success is a dependent on efforts therefore all the best to all of you